help you. for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like... But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Oh, isn't it obvious? You gotta... Oh! But... Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. <laughs> So, you can look- No way! The night- You need to pass an exam, and oh, Today, I'm here as an exam- I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that- But, we do need to respect the rules, and gl Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a low- Wow, that's a- Great, come find me when- <sighs> The Knights of Favonius- When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They ask the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. <laughs> 